Hello, welcome back, thanks for joining me. My name is Danny Burke, and up here is the part one to this video where I talked about 10 things that all of us are apparently doing wrong in our lives. Recently, we went back to go and check on how that video was doing, and we couldn't believe how much love there was for it. Why has it taken this long for us to make a part two? Maybe we're idiots, but for now, better late than never, this is the top 10 everyday things you have been doing wrong, part two. Coming in at number 10, we have eating meals. Most of us eat the majority of our food during the three main meals of the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, apparently the best way is to actually eat a lot of smaller meals throughout the day. Have you guys ever just crashed and slumped after a big meal and just had no energy at all? That's because your body is struggling to digest all of that food, especially if it has a lot of sugar and carbs. Instead. Some experts say that eating six small meals a day can increase your metabolic rate, increase your energy levels, and decrease your appetite so that you don't overeat. Next up at number nine now, we have scent spraying. <laughs> Most people get dressed in the morning and then spray on some perfume or cologne. Well, a number of experts are now saying that spraying directly onto the skin at your different pulse points is actually the best way to go, not just spraying it on your clothes. This allows a scent to interact with your skin and give a longer lasting but not overpowering smell, as well as avoiding staining clothes like some scents do. That makes total sense. Moving on to number eight, we have microwaving your food. Okay, I love this one because it changed the whole microwaving game for me. Do you guys ever go to heat up a meal in the microwave and when you take it out, you find that it's been unevenly heated? Like one bit is boiling hot and then the other is still practically frozen. Well, next time, make a hole in the middle of your food. This will make the heat spread more evenly across your meal. I promise you it works. I think they should teach this one in schools. Next up at number seven, we have packing clothes. Next time you guys pack your clothes, Clothes, don't just fold them up like most of us do every single day. Try rolling them up. If you roll up your t-shirts when packing your suitcase for a trip, for example, you'll be amazed about how much space you actually save. If you do it carefully enough, you won't even see any wrinkles. I even saw some people using this technique to pack their clothes away at home so that they could easily see what t-shirts they have instead of having to dig through a whole massive pile. All right, coming in at number six now, we have pimple popping. Teenagers tend to get more spots and pimples, but they still do happen to adults, and the one thing we all try and do is pop them as soon as we see them. Everyone knows that's how you deal with a pimple, right? Well, apparently not. Popping pimples can make the inflammation worse, it can cause scabs, lead to infection, and here's the main one for you, it can cause permanent scarring. People with severe acne will tell you that sometimes, even if you leave the spots alone, it can cause scars, so picking at them can make it even worse. Next up at number five now, we have eating a banana. I actually just had a banana, and I wish I didn't eat it before this video, so I could use it. Damn. When you open a banana, you probably peel it off at the stem, right? Well, apparently, flipping them over and opening them from the bottom is actually far easier. If you haven't done it before, give it a try. It just easily peels back first time, every time, and leaves the banana unbruised and unmashed. I sound like I'm trying to sell this product to you, don't I? It's just a banana. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, this is just your opinion. Well, yeah, it is, but don't take my word for it. This is actually the way that monkeys eat bananas. I would take banana eating advice from a monkey over me any day. I take a lot of advice from a monkey and not me any day. Okay, moving on to number four now. We have taking painkillers. These days, our society seems to take painkillers for practically everything, whether it's a headache or a cold or just a strange little pain in our left elbow. Now, of course, you should take painkillers for serious things, but doctors say that taking them too often for everything can actually end up giving you worse headaches from overusing them. Over time, they can also increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes. They can lead to depression and even addiction to them. Always speak to your doctor about the right dosage and right times to take them. Okay, time to stop being so serious now. At number three, we have making a sandwich. So, have you guys ever made a sandwich and when you get to the corners, it's just a mouthful of pure bread? Ugh, nobody wants that. I don't know why a lot of sandwich fillers are circular in shape, but until the day when they're all square, we have a problem. They just don't fit on a square piece of bread. Instead, you should cut the circles in half and put them on the bread like this. This will mean that every single bite has something on it. Now, I know this is obviously a small one in life, but when I told some of my friends this, they got quite excited, so I thought I'd share it with you. Maybe my friends are just a little bit sad. Moving on to number two, we have coughing. I know what you're thinking. You can't tell me I've been coughing incorrectly for my whole life, right? Well, yeah, but what you do to try and stop the germs from spreading is probably wrong. I'm sure, like me, you guys try and stop a cough with your hand. 
<coughs> well, experts say that this only transfers the germs to your hand, which then uh, spread around in a million different ways throughout the day by you touching things or shaking people's hands. Instead, you're supposed to do a kind of dab where you cough like this. <coughs> that will apparently reduce the spread of germs as it touches less things than your hands do. I think that's the world's first medically approved dab right there. And finally, at number one, we have reading. I know you guys can read, but apparently we've all not been doing it the fastest way possible. Speed reading might sound like something you need to spend years on, but a quick Google search can show you techniques to increase your reading speed by 300% in just a few minutes. For example, you'll be retrained to not read every single word individually, but rather scan an entire line to increase your perceptual reflexes. You can also work on your peripheral vision to take in all of the words around a certain area you are focusing on, or even start reading a sentence through three words in and finishing it three words from the end. You guys can find full guides online that go into far more detail, but the people who have tried this out often say they feel like they've learned to read for the first time. Okay, those were some more everyday things that we could all improve upon, perhaps. Is there something that any of you guys watching this right now do every single day and you feel like everyone else does it the wrong way? Come on, you gotta share the secret with all of us, be fair. I promise I won't put it into a part three. Maybe. My name is Danny Burke. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos every single day, and I'll see you all in the next one.